mastering dead time is equal to more productivity. Hello, I'm Dylan and I help people become more productive in their day-to-day -day life and their work. And in today's video, we're going to be going over what dead time is specifically and how we can take advantage of it to become more productive in our work. So simply put, dead time is the space and uh, mind space of doing nothing at all. So whether you're waiting for a bus, you're on the bus towards your destination, or you just have a spare moment, five to 10 minutes, maybe even less, where your mind doesn't have to wander, you don't have to do anything. What do you do with this space of time and space of mind time in order to further productivity in other aspects of work time? So the mastery of this concept goes, if you use this uh, dead mind time, to be mindful in thought and progressive thought, then it can transfer over to your productivity as you'll have the mental bandwidth to enter flow spate easier and more effectively. So in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down what to think when you don't think about anything at all, when you have nothing to contemplate, no work to complete and nothing to do. What should you do mentally to progress in productivity in the other aspects of your life? This mindful change and shift from dead time to progressive time will be beneficial in your productivity journey as well as your own mental health. Having this instilled sense of mindfulness and comfortability, uh, being alone with thought will be progressive in many ways. Just before we hop into today's video, currently at the top link of the description will take you to a one-to-one -one coaching call with me where I can turn you into a more productive person. I'm looking to work with people who are truly dedicated and actually want to progress in their productive work, business and self-improvement journey and I'm looking to help a few people do this. You'll have one hour, a one hour session with me and we can go over the problems you're facing and enter the solutions to help you get out of that rut. I've been where you are and I know the solution out of it. I think we can work together to help you get out of this. So the prompts I'm going to be giving you are thought prompts to help you reclaim this dead time into mindful time, which will progress you in productivity. So prompt number one is a simple gratitude check-in. What are you grateful for now? in the past in the maybe the morning you just have what are you grateful for be very specific isn't the bus driver that took you to your destination and the uh, great driving skill he had or the fact your car started or the clothes you're wearing that are keeping you warm this gratitude will keep you mindful humble and present and this present mindset will apply to your work and the ability for you to effectively and easily jump into a flow state of productivity as well as general mental health bonuses being grateful for the things you have and instilling gratitude into every habit you have making more consistent in appreciating it and then therefore sticking to it and completing it day to day this will compound into a large benefit in the future prompt number two purpose alignment is the thing you're doing now progressing you to afford towards the thing you want in the future is the work you're doing making you the money you want is the the habit you're doing benefiting you and your mental and your physical health are the thoughts you're having right now positive and filling you with a lot of joy and productive energy this purpose alignment thought prompt will be very beneficial if you act it act on it honestly are you truly honest answering it in your brain as to whether the work you're doing is progressing you to the goals you want to complete if it's obviously not aligned then change needs to be change needs to happen and if you're unsure of the change that needs to happen again i'm running one-to-one -one coaching so maybe we can work it out together prompt number three habit reflection similarly to the purpose alignment section of this prompt habit reflection are the things you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis be very specific what time you wake up what time you go to bed how much phone screen time you have how much laptop screen time you have the work you're doing how much work you're doing what clothes you're wearing what music you're listening to and every single little detail meticulously ponder on whether this habit is progressing you in to a more productive and effective life. This kind of mindful meticulation, uh, a removal of waste in your habits and wasteful habits will be incredibly beneficial to bring you closer to the productive self that you want to be. And miss, it's dead time. You're not gonna do anything else with it, so you may as well clear out some of this negative metabolic waste of your brain and instill positive virtues. 
This leads us into prompt number four, challenging, challenge reframing. Think about a challenge you have in your life. For me, an example of the other day, I was running on Tuesday. I got utterly soaked in the weather. It was flooding everywhere. I was completely soaked. Cars were splashing me. The next day, my shoes were soaking and I had a big challenge on my hand that my feet were disgustingly wet and cold. But using the dead mind time when I was on the bus towards the college, I reframed the challenge into a blessing. I gratitude journaled it. I realized that this challenge is keeping me present, grounding me towards the conversations I have through the work I do because it's hard to wander off and daydream when your feet are squelching about when you're doing certain tasks. So there's always a silver lining on the challenge you're facing. There's always a silver lining. Just use this dead time that you're not doing anything with and creatively challenge reframe. Anything you're facing that you think is negative, flip it on its head. What's the best case scenario of this challenge towards my life? How does it positively impact me? There's also links to prompt number one of gratitude check-ins. Always gratitude journal things you are not happy with in your life as there's always a silver. Ah, prompt number five, creative brainstorming. This, for me, I like to rabbit hole. Uh, per se so you start with the intro to the train of thought so for example creative brainstorming hmm how could i make this certain poster or this certain post i'm working on right now look better then you dip down the rabbit hole and the thought process and the thought train the next thing hmm, maybe i could change that font hmm, maybe i can change the color grading just completely go down or just go step by step through the habit and thought train or through the thought chain and eventually you'll hit the bottom the end of the thought train and then move on to the next thing just start with an intro thought or rabbit hole and eventually you'll lead into a, a cauldron of other thoughts which will keep you thinking productively and mindfully for the period of your dead time. Number six, re reflect on recent learnings. What have you learned in the past 24 hours, 48 hours, or even a week, whether it's from podcasts, TikToks, YouTube videos like mine, what have you learned? For me, what have I learned in the past couple of days? I have learned about tall poppy syndrome and how prevalent it is in the UK. What else have I learned? I've learned a lot about horology as I'm fixing a few watches at the moment. And I've learned critical path analysis, which is a business studies topic. And I'm also learning a lot about YouTube day to day and how to effectively run a YouTube channel. These are just thing, some examples for myself, but obviously it'd be different for you. And it's something I can't help you with. I can't go into your mind and work out what you've recently learned, but use this dead time wisely. And you can go over the things you've learned and in, ensure that you don't forget them. Again, utilize rabbit holing, deep introspection via the thought train process. And then once you hit the end, just dive into another one and just utilize this dead time to be mindful and progress yourself in a productive manner. Again, if you're looking to work with me one on one, then at the moment I'm running one to one coaching where I'm helping people come from A, unproductive procrastinator pro to B, pro work dominator. Again, every single bit of work they have done in an effective manner. Click the top link in the description if you are interested in changing your life. Thank you for watching today's video.